The power to approach to decision making is that we want to look for solutions that leave both people feeling good. Win-win. Let's talk for just a minute. What's the problem with a, cop, a couple who says, you know what, I think what we'll, our approach to decisions is going to be you win this time, I win next time. What happens in that kind of an approach? It's like um, competition. Sets up competition. Yeah. Good. What else happens with that? Oh, I think one disconnects. Yeah, because well, I win this time means you lose. Lose. And next time you win means I lose. lose. And so in every decision, if it's made with that win-lose kind of a model, somebody doesn't feel very good about that decision. And those decisions end up being ones that don't stick very well and that don't sit very well either. Many people say that marriage is about compromise. In power of two, we disagree. Compromise is no fun. Compromise means everyone feels compromised, like you had to give up on something you won. Compromise is a lose-lose solution. Marriage should make life fuller, better, more satisfying. Who would want a marriage that's about compromise? Instead, with the win-win waltz, you can find solutions to your differences that leave both of you feeling totally pleased. You'll feel totally pleased because your concerns and your spouse's concerns all have been addressed in the solution. So winning doesn't mean that you feel like, I got my way, or that I've proved that the other person was wrong. Winning means that you've created together a solution that's pleasingly responsive to all of your concerns and to all of your spouse's concerns. Win-win means that you took a his way and a her way and you created an our way. So instead today we're going to learn how to make decisions that really, just like we were doing with yes and, keep both people fully in and both people's needs by the end are going to be met fully. I got to see this. Yeah, good. <laughs> That's exactly right. So we call it the win-win waltz. Any of you guys ever taken dance classes? But what does it feel like when you start learning a new step? You're stepping on each other's toes. Yeah, exactly. It's on each other's toes, d d d stilted. So it's the same with this. That initially for people often it feels a little bit kind of stilted. And have you ever gotten really good? Yeah. Yeah? And then what's it like? Oh, it feels like you're walking on clouds. Exactly. The more bring it on, the more difficult the decision, the more times we get to make decisions, it just feels like you're walking on clouds. This is fun. This is something we look forward to as a couple.